What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get and how to use the Achilles Pulse. But first we need to talk about it. So let's look at it. So here is your new Pulse. It is called the Achilles Pulse. Now one thing to uh, highlight here is that this will only work on one enemy at a time. No matter if you are on tier one or tier zero for this example, or tier six to overcharge, it is still only going to affect one target at a time. And let me explain. So it says up here, the Achilles pulse targets a single enemy with the pulse that identifies their weakness. This will highlight the weakness and all damage caused to that weakness will become headshot damage. So, for example, if I highlight an enemy with a tier zero pulse, it will highlight one part of their body, whether it be left arm, left leg, body, right arm, right leg, head, either way, it will highlight one of those zones. Now they call it a zone because the weakness is a zoned area and as long as you shoot within that zone, you're doing all that headshot damage. Now, looking at the pulse a little bit deeper, if you scroll all the way down to tier six or tier, yeah, tier six, you get two zones uh, additional with 60% zone health, duration, and skill haste. And then when you overcharge, you get plus five zones. Now, on a normal NPC, five zones is eh, nearly their entire body. So you're gonna have all four of their legs and arms highlighted and their body highlighted. Obviously, none of those are the head so you're doing headshot damage to all of those on top of your normal damage. So what I'm going to show at the end of this video is me testing out a tier zero pulse and a tier six to overcharge pulse in PVP to show you. So normally uh, for a healer build, I was only getting like maybe 80k to the body, maybe. And that's with a, you know, a tier six skill build, healer build, you know, you're shooting marshmallows. However, when I use this pulse and I shot them in like the hand, I was doing nearly a hundred K per bullet in PVP, which was over 20 K more in PVP just by using the one pulse. Now, what I have noticed in PVP, and I'll tell you right now, is that using a tier six or overcharge pulse in PVP, it does the same thing. Um, it'll highlight three areas and that's about it for PVP. However, for PVE, if you get overcharge and you pulse an enemy, their entire body becomes uh, a weakness. So it doesn't matter where you shoot them in their body, it'll still become a head shot. So that is the Achilles Pulse. Now, how would it get the Achilles Pulse? Well, that's pretty simple. Today is February 9th, and it is the release of Manhunt Target Cersei. Now, if I go into the Manhunt options right here, once you eliminate Cersei, you get access to Fei Lao. Now, Completing Fei Lao's mission, you will get the Achilles Pulse as a reward. So kill Fei Lao, finish that mission, and you will have the Achilles Pulse forever. Not too bad, right? It came out today, you can get it today, and yeah, it's all good. So that is how to get the Achilles Pulse. Now how to use the Achilles Pulse. So right before I uh, send you off to my gameplay in uh, the Dark Zone to show you how to use it, uh, let me explain it here. So tier zero, right now I'm using a all damage build with the Achilles Pulse. Uh, tier zero lets me highlight one enemy and it will show me one zone 
of that enemy for weakness. So as long as I shoot that one zone, I will get headshot damage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it does with a healer build and see if we can highlight the entire um, NPC. So I'm going to go down here. I'll try to highlight the entire NPC to show you how that works for PvE. And then I'll immediately just send you over to my Dark Zone gameplay. That way you can see how I do it for PvP. All right, so here we are. Oop, I've got the Banshee Pulse on. Let me change that real quick. Uh, am I on the... Oh, I'm on the wrong build. That's probably why. There we go. Let's make sure I've got the right pulse. Achilles, yes, I do. So this is my healer build. And what I'm doing is I'm using the healer build to proc my overcharge for the pulse. This is future initiative, so I do get a little bit more of a damage buff as well. Now, let's see how this goes. So I'm going I'm to drop it. I'm going to get my overcharge. And then I'm going to highlight this enemy right there. And you can see their entire body was just highlighted. And now I get the pulse back in, what, 10 seconds? All right, five seconds. And then let's do it again. So this is without overcharge. Now it's just three. Left leg, head, and body. But then you saw with the overcharge, it was their entire. And you can see, once you shoot that part, that zone will go away. So the more zone health you have, the more headshot damage you could do. Because once that zone is gone, you cannot do that headshot damage. So let's see if I can do another example. What's over here? Probably a broadcast, right? Uh-oh, it's a uh, hostile. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll put it right here. I'm going to kill it for my... Oh. There we go. Now, because I didn't have my overcharge procced, eh, that's okay. I don't really care. So because uh, I didn't wait for the cooldown, I wasn't able to proc overcharge there. And it kind of made me look uh, a little messed up. Embarrassing, I know, but I don't really care. So without overcharge, you get three zones. It'll show like left leg, right arm, chest. And you can shoot those three zones for headshot damage. However, in PvE, if you overcharge and then use the pulse, it will highlight every part of their body and you can do headshot damage to every part of their body. Now I'm gonna show you me testing it in PvP in the dark zone. And what I learned, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, is that it will only highlight three areas on a player. Um, I'll show you tier six and overcharge that it still only highlights three areas on a player. So that's probably their way of nerfing it. That way you don't overcharge and then you can shoot them anywhere. So it's just three different zones. So I hope that helped explain it. Um, if you guys have any questions about this pulse, I know it just came out today. So let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly try to help you guys. Um, I myself am still learning about it. I ran a few games of Conflict, I ran it in PvE, and also the Dark Zone before making this video. So I think I've tested it out enough to know how it works. However, the whole strategy and uh, how to make it work to the best of its ability is still yet to be seen. Um, the first thoughts that I'm having is that what if you overcharge the pulse and then you highlight boomer in the dark hours raid? Does that mean that anywhere you shoot boomer, it's a headshot damage? Cause that could make dark hours pretty easy. Or what if you ran two of these for Buddy and Lucy, one on each side, healing their team and then proccing overcharge to highlight their entire body for headshot damage? I think that would work for Buddy and Lucy as well. Or even Weasel. You could have one on each side. One highlighting Dizzy and one highlighting Ricochet. I mean, I could go all day with this. 
this pulse seems to be pretty wicked. Um, I was running it on a all damage build in conflict and highlighting even one piece of, you know, a player that's in front of me. As long as I hit that zone, they die pretty much instantly because the headshot damage is added to your normal damage. So it doesn't just take, you know, headshot numbers and add it to there. No, what it does is it takes your crit and then it adds your headshot damage to that crit. So it actually becomes more lethal than a normal headshot damage. It's really cool. I highly recommend you guys do the Feilao mission and I highly recommend you guys get this Achilles Pulse because it seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun, not only for PVP, but PVE. But that's it, I'm gonna let you guys go. That way you can watch some PVP gameplay of me testing it out. And yeah, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, Mr. Knight, so I'm going to pop rope, and then just normally, 242.93. Alright, so normally, 242.93. Alright, Achilles Pulse. It's telling me left leg. 410. That was a 410 hit on your leg. Okay. That was two bullets. Yeah, that was, yeah, two bullets to the leg. That crit was stupid. I went from two something to four, so it nearly doubled. trying to keep up my uh, my rogue all right I'll get the pulse back here in a couple seconds and then I'll switch over to tier six after we test it out again all right here we go so 93 and 242 all right pulse right arm 411 and 93 so that's 150 K more bullet Bro, hold on. Let me overcharge it. Hold on. I'm about to overcharge this shit. All right, you ready? Here we go. Overcharge. Left arm, right leg, and head. Oh, I didn't hit your arm. No, it's higher. 99k. So it's a uh, 20... Yeah, I get bonus. Yeah, I get headshot damage on top of my normal damage. Left arm, right leg, body. Oh, now I can just shoot you in the body. What? Body shot, leg shot, and arm shot. That's ridiculous. All right, one more time. I'm gonna do the uh, overcharge again. Yeah. Sorry, your your head's highlighted. Legs highlighted. Other legs highlighted. There you go. Body, right leg, left leg. Yeah, you'd have to have a shield. It, it will not highlight your shield. Yeah, I can't get past that. It says I need to hit you in the leg and I can't. Yeah, that'll work. Now my pulse is gone, see? That's the only way to combat that. That's good.
You would have to. Yeah, I can't hit you. I would have to get behind you. Yeah, that's the only way to get around that. It's the bulwark. No, oh, yeah. It's going to make it more risky to run the, uh, yeah, most definitely. That bulwark works, though. pretty cool right so when he's using that shield it shows highlighted so I'd have to get behind him but as long as he has that shield alright yeah cuz I'm hitting I'm hitting some stupid numbers compared to the headshot. Yeah, there's normal headshots in the 70s, and I'm hitting for around 90 something. So it's like adding the headshot damage to my damage. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> 